Shalom everyone, this is Rabbi Sakai with two minutes of Torah, lesson three. This past week we learned the parasha Matot Masay, it was a double parasha, and we learned an interesting situation happened in the parasha. Two and a half of the Shavatim of the tribes came to Moshe and had a request. They said, we see that there's green land before entering into Israel, and since we are in the business of cattle, we like the green land and we would like to stay on this side of the Jordan with our families instead of entering into Israel with the rest of the tribes. And Moses said to them, well, first of all, yeah, we have to see what God has to say about it. And second of all, we have to see what the Jews have to say about it, so to speak. Because in the Pasuk, Moshe Rabbeinu turns to the Jews and says, to the two tribes and says, Hashem Israel. You have to look innocent, you have to be innocent in the eyes of God and in, and in the eyes of the Bnei Israel." And here, the Chachamim teaches a fundamental lesson about Judaism. You see, sometimes there might be instances that you're doing exactly what God wants you to do, or what you have permission to do according to God, in the eyes of God. But at the same time, if you have other Jews disagreeing with you, or if you look bad, or you look like you're doing something wrong in the eyes of other Jews, then you might as well not be doing it at all. And this is what lesson Moses was teaching the two and a half tribes here. Just because God is going to allow you to do this, which He did, does not mean you don't have to explain yourself to the other tribes and why you don't want to come with the other tribes and fight all the wars that they have to fight to enter into Israel. And that's why the, the, the other tribes agreed that we will come fight the wars, conquer Israel, and once that's done, then we'll come back to the other side of the Jordan, to the green land that we wanted. He's, he's, the, there's a lesson to be learned here. In Judaism, a person can't walk in life and say, well, I don't care what people think of me. I know what I'm doing is right. I know what I'm doing because I'm doing, you know, this mitzvah or that mitzvah. I don't care how it looks in the eyes of other people. We can't. We can't live like that. We have to make sure that even when we're doing what is right and we know it is right in our hearts, we have to make sure that it looks right. Allow me to demonstrate. Once there was a guy in line in a supermarket and he was standing in the express line for six or less items. And there was two people behind him, one Jewish woman and a non-Jewish non person. And this guy that was first in line had about 30 different items in his basket. And this guy turns to the Jewish woman behind him not knowing that she is Jewish and says, look at this. But they always do this. How can he do this? It's, a, it's express line. And the guy has 30 items in his basket. They're always like this. They're always trying to cheat somebody. And this woman was very embarrassed, knowing that this person in front of him doesn't know she's Jewish. She tried to muster up whatever she could to tell him. But, you know, it was still it was a bad situation. So after the checkout, she goes in a parking lot, finds the Jewish guy with a lot of stuff in his basket, and says, look, sir, you know, Here's what happened, and it really looked bad. You shouldn't have so many stuff in your, in your, in your basket and come sh into the express lane. And he turns to her and said, you know, what you don't know and what that other gentleman did not know is that I was first in a regular lane, and then the register broke, and a manager came and said, because your register broke and you were first in line, you could come and stand in the express lane. And then the, the gentleman behind me walked in afterwards, not knowing that I was brought into that lane by the manager. But see, what that gentleman should have really done was turn around and explain himself to the other people behind them so that they won't have the wrong idea about him. That's what Judaism teaches and that's what we learn from Moses. Even if you know you're doing what you're doing, what you're doing is right, you still need to explain yourself so that you will look clean in the eyes of God and in the eyes of man. Thank you for listening.